Today we start the course on dairy products technology, right? So I'm recording. You already know the way we work together from last semester, right? The first lecture, we just give some short introduction about the course, the main content that we will be working together, uh, and then what will be the requirements for evaluation of the course and so on. And then we go to chapter one. Chapter 1 is also quite short. We see uh, how far we can go today. So if I talk fast, you can always um, stop me. Or if you want me to explain again uh, some points in the class during the time that we work together, you can always interrupt at any time. Good. So we go now. You already know that you are at Nong Lam University. And this is the logo. I have to hold this one as well. So these are the chapters that we will work together. There are nine chapters. Okay. Chapter one, we give a short introduction on meal production and consumption. What is the production? It's a volume, it's the amount of milk that the whole world produces of Vietnam produces and so on example production is the volume we produce and the consumption is the volume is the amount that people consume and normally which one is higher production and consumption production is a little bit higher than consumption because from production to consumption there would be some loss uh, somewhere on the way and then we go to chapter 2 we will uh, discuss some main characteristics of milk very nice chapter you drink milk maybe every day but after this chapter or after this course you will know much more okay so this course is not only for the knowledge that you have to obtain to be an engineer in food technology but actually it will help you a lot quite a lot in the future for example when you have a baby when you start to be a mother also good to know about your body how you produce milk how you feed your baby and so on so good and then chapter 3 we will discuss the main components of milk do you know already what are the main components in milk water yes what else carbohydrate proteins fat minerals and so on okay you know quite a lot already good so we discuss the main properties of each group of components like that or uh, this chapter we can also call chemical properties of milk and then we go to chapter 4 we talk about physical properties this chapter is quite short but also important and then chapter 5 dairy mic microbiology we talk about microorganisms that associate with milk that may cause some issue in milk but some other microorganism that cause the positive changes as we want in fermentation and so on for example so we discuss the main aspect of dairy microbiology some part we already worked together during the last semester so we used to skip that part and chapter 6 by the way after chapter 5 you will have a midterm exam okay so we will decide that time either to do the midterm exam in the class or we do online. Did you do online last semester? Yes, okay, you already know that uh, you need internet and you need a smartphone or laptop to do the exercise. And normally the number of questions will be so many that you don't have enough time to do. So you have no chance to look up in the internet or to copy from each other. And in chapter 6, we talk about milk and dairy processes. Processes are the treatments that we apply to make products. From chapter 1 to chapter 5, we can call this science. Okay. Science about milk. And then from this on, we can call technology the chapter which are related to technology processing chapter 6 is very important because we discuss the main processes 
the main treatments that we apply to process dairy products okay. for example pasteurization sterilization centrifugation homogenization and so on so the processes which are applied for milk or dairy products are actually also similar like for general food products not only for milk so you study this cost mean you have a chance to review as well uh, all food products not only milk and dairy products chapter six we have a background of all processes from one to five we have background of all science of properties of milk and so on uh, structure properties and manufacturers aspect and so on so from there we can combine certain processes to make certain milk and dairy products okay so in chapter 7 we discuss for example how to make a uh, pasteurized milk how to make yogurt how to make cheese after this chapter you can already know how to make yogurt at home or if you want to do a small business with making yogurts and so on it's also how how do you call this potential uh, may give you a bright future now and then we are more or less done with the essential knowledge but then for you we have two more chapters chapter 8 we will discuss about membrane processing and dairy industry what is membrane processing? It's filtration. Filtration, but we use the membranes which have a very small pore. Uh, the pore size, uh, the size of the pore is very small. In micrometer, for example, nanometer, for example, to do the filtration, to separate components, and so on. Kind of new technology in food processing. Uh, so we uh, have time to discuss on that. And the last chapter, we will discuss the principle of HACCP applied in dairy industry. What is HACCP? Can you spell the full words of HACCP? Hazards analysis of critical control points. Okay, right. So I think you already study this in general. So chapter nine, we just um, do briefly some important points of HACCP in dairy industry only and then what do you have you have a final exam and the other part you also need to do laboratory exercises which is the same as meat technology that we did last semester so there are three parts that you need to complete we base on the three parts to evaluate your performance and you have a final score for this course if you spend a little bit time at first uh, to just listen understand and then review somehow then it would be enough to do exam okay now these are the main references for this course so if you want more information you can look up for these books documents that you can have more knowledge the first one is a book of Juan Strat Peter scholar from the Netherlands dairy science and technology it's, it's also quite old already and the second one is the cosmos of Professor Kundi Westin at Ghent University in Belgium where I did my master this whole lectures are actually influenced a lot by his lecture I have to say that when I record this just acknowledge from where I took a lot of content for my teaching and then this is a chapter on membrane separation in food processing also in dairy processing if you look carefully you will see my name this is chapter in book and then uh, this is also a small chapter focus on dairy processing we discuss about membrane separation of mem membrane filtration okay and i think this book is free online this is processing dairy processing handbook of data pack do you know data pack okay well well known group which we specialize in uh, packaging solution 
if you uh, drink UST milk for example you look at the bottom maybe you see data back logo there and they have a book which is also very well known in the field simple easy to understand but of course to understand you need to learn my course first and then you can understand easily okay and there are other books somewhere that you can uh, look for more information right so we are done with the introduction of the course do you have questions